another thing that you can do is go back to the tech. Oh, tree. right you now, how may I help you? See, oh, this is it a is medium you. Line. Well, um, so nice to see you. And to review, I'm your host, Buddy1927. Today we are talking about the T26E4 Super Persian. Um, this is um, the premium medium tank tier 8 in the American line. And as you can see, there's two ways to get this tank. You can purchase this tank actually through um, the game itself. It costs you 7,200 gold. Or you can purchase it through the gift shop on World of Tanks. And currently, you, if you purchase it through with money you, and buy the tank through the gift shop, you actually get a garage slot. So it doesn't take up a garage slot. Um, as you can see, it's a tier 8 tank and it's the premium tank one thing about premium tanks two things about a premium tank compared to any other tank in the game um, all premium tanks actually start off as a stock tier whatever tier they're in so this is actually a stock tier 8 tank the reason why it's a premium tank is first it costs you gold to purchase it or you or it actually costs you money to purchase the tank the two advantages that you have with this tank all premium tanks actually make you extra credits in the game the other thing that you can do let's go back to the, to the tech tree as you can see this is in the medium line um, and any medium tank that you have um, you can actually put your crews into the T26E4 and grind them up. So when we start with the M4, the M4, the crews, all these crews in these tanks, all the way up to the tier 10, you can actually put the crews into this tank and grind the crew crews up. So that's not that's one of the advantages of a premium tank. And like I said, it makes you extra credits when you run this through. Um, one good thing about any and all tanks, the better the crew, the better the tank performs. So this is basically a stock tier 8 tank. It doesn't have much in firepower and all that, but as you grind up your crew, you grind up the experience in that crew, the better the tank performs. So if you have a top-notch crew in here, you can actually do some great damage with this. Um, start off with the front here front hull has a total of 177 millimeters of armor. The turret has 101 millimeters of armor. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a little bit of allergies going on here. Um, side armor on this thing is 76 millimeters of armor on the side and also the side of the turret. On the rear, the rear hull has 50 millimeters of armor and the rear hull of the turret has 76 millimeters. I'm going to go into see what the weak points are on this tank. This front is actually pretty strong. Uh, depending on the angle the angle you're being shot at, as you can see this is about, uh, let's see, that's about 30 degree angle. If you angle your tank at 30 degrees at a tank that's shooting at you, my armor is actually 260 millimeters thick. But as you can see, the blue represents the armor is pretty strong on here. Um, it, there's a weak point right here. If you get shot here, it's a little weaker. The side is weak here, as you can see. Straight on shot, 76 millimeters. Straight on shot, about 76 millimeters. One thing, even though it has 76 millimeters of armor here, this is where the engine is. The armor's a little bit thinner here. You only have about uh, 50 to 70 millimeters of armor here on the side, so you won't basically protect your butt from the side and rear attacks. <coughs> you got 76 millimeters on the rear of the um, turret. But look at the be belly of this, only 33 millimeters of armor here. And 52, uh, 50 millimeters of armor here. So you want to make sure you're well protected. Um, you get your sides protected and your rear protected. Let's take a look at the gun here. Oops. There we go. I get it up. There we go. Um, gun is a 90, 
a 90 millimeter gun, a T15E1. Uh, rate of fire is 7.631. Uh, reload time is 7.863 seconds, which is actually a pretty good reload time for a medium tank at that at that tier. It carries about 54 rounds of ammo. Accuracy on this tank is actually pretty good. It's 0 0.364. Um, aiming time on this tank is 2.21 seconds, which is actually pretty good. <coughs> the average speed on this thing, top speed, is 40 kilometers per hour. Um, overall, this is not a bad premium tank to have in your collection. Especially if you're grinding the medium line on the US tanks. Like I said, you can actually put the crews in here without any penalty on the medium US um, line and grind the crews up, especially if you have the the tier 10 pattern. You can take that crew, like t today is um, times 5, you can run the crew in the, your tier 10 pattern, knock off the knock off the times five on here then put the crew in back in here and run and knock off the um, times five and make sure you got your accelerator crew and all that experience goes right into that crew so now you have have had ten times the experience in that tank for those two runs so that's one of the advantages of having a premium tank you can actually take your top crews in here and grind them at a tier eight battle and you can make money while doing it. So here's a clip of um, the T26E4 Super Persian in action. Okay, as we're waiting players, we are in the T26E4 Super Persian Tier 8 Premium US Medium Tank. Um, this tank is actually the premium tank. As I said before, you can interchange the crews of the U.S. medium line and put them in this tank to actually play. Uh, the current crew I have in here is um, one of my crews from one of my medium tanks. Only has one perk, so I'm trying to grind the crew up a little bit more. Since this is a kind of a slow medium tank, I mainly use this tank as a sniper, so we're going to go ahead and get up on a sniper's perch. <laughs> Top speed on this tank is, actually, is uh, 40 kilometers per hour. Um, reverse is actually only 18 kilometers per hour. Climbing uphill is a little slows the tank down big time, and I was on a pretty good size upgrade. As you can see, I'm using on um, the rock to my left to protect my left side. And I'm kind of camouflaged it with the trees in front of me. I'm backed up a little bit away so when my gun fires it doesn't make the trees temporarily disappear. Enemies coming through that little s s village. Um, the map we are on is a swamp. Um, if I remember correctly this is the zero line or the eight nine line. No I'm sorry. I'll take that back. I lied to you. Um, we're actually on the J line. We're about J2 on the line. We're actually sitting back to cover the cap. Enemy armor is damaged. Hit for two of nine. This gun is pretty accurate, but um, there's a couple shots. I this took way too soon. I one one thing when you are sniping. <coughs> Enemy is hit. Excuse me. One thing while you're sniping, you want to make sure you rec rec 
goes down all the way because as you can see right now that last shot was at 378 meters so that way you, your shot gets off and gets going I kind of pulled away I had an angle now I can't get an angle on that tank And the reason why the gun, gun is drop, drop, um, jumping a little bit is because this morning I shot this. I actually shot this this morning, and I was a little not 100% awake, so I was a little shaky this morning. And so far, my damage could have been a lot higher. I missed several shots so far this morning, but you can see what. At the end, you can see what I actually did overall on this in this run. I've had at least three hits on this thing. Four hits now. And we've done some damage so far. Another miss there. And this was also... <coughs> I, had, I had a little uh, lag spike while I was playing this game er earlier this morning. That's why you can see that Dick Max jump from one end, uh, from one end of the building to the other real quick. No angle on that. Back up. Still no, no shot on him. One thing I do when I'm in a sniper mode, I kind of keep my right eye on the mini-map so I can take a look and see what is going on at the time. Uh, with XVM, I can bring up the mini-map even when I'm in sniper mode to see what's going on. And as I see, I saw a little blip, now I got that RMH in sight. Enemy armor is hit. Once. And twice. Fade off of me. Gonna hide behind. So now I got two, two tanks shooting at me. Getting repositioned, so I'm a little bit covered now. Enemy Another shot. Damaged. This guy actually gets a lucky shot. I'm here lined up on him. I'm about ready to take him out, and he actually shoots my gun. He actually hit the gun, knocked it out. So get the repairs done on the gun. Get him lined up. Take another Enemy shot, and somebody actually takes him out. Okay, I had another tank down below. I don't know what happened to him. He actually took out one of the other tanks. Current score on this is um, we had 10 to 10 to 7, so we're doing pretty good. It's T28 prototype we're shooting at. That's a hard tank to hit, but as you can see with this gun, we're actually Enemy doing damage to 242. Hit. That's not bad. Amount of damage on that prototype. So we got about 2384. Got Hellcat over there, got no joy on him right now. As you see, I shot right behind him. I, uh, like I said, I wasn't awake this morning when I, sh when I was in this game. Took a blind shot. Now we got a super version on top there. Super kind of damage that we can do. As you can see, his um, angle on his gun is not good. So he actually ends up going down the hill, trying to take this guy head on. And one thing I'm, I got to try to do is take a shot. We that was not my shot to hit. That blue, that was another shot off to the right of me. Actually hit the uh, friendly side. Uh, he took out that tank. And I take out another guy on the right who takes him out. Okay, as you can see, I did 2,900 damage. The score's now 13,9. The, the other two tanks on the other side, up by their cap, by the time I get up there, it's just no 
no way I can get up there in time. So we'll just go sit back here and just wait until they knock out the two tanks. Okay, now they're down to one tank. <coughs> and there's the other tank lit up. And you can see there's no reason for me to even try to get up there because he's up there by the cap. By the time I get up there, I would have wasted my time just trying to get there in time. So I did my job. I did damage and held off them attacking our cap. Um, well, I didn't do all the holding off, but did some damage and helped hold off the cap being taken. Okay, as you can see, that's the end of the game. We'll pop up the um, replay on, on it. As you can see, we had a victory. I had two medals. Uh, we did 81,798 credits, 5,415. This was the times five on, on this game. Here's the map. See, we did 2,900. We did top damage on the team. Um, so that's pretty good. So you can take a look at the next map here. Um, one thing I like to say is I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you like this episode, please like us on YouTube. If you have any comments, you can leave comments on YouTube and our um, NASA forums. I'd like to thank you and have a good day.